Well, hello and welcome to video four of your sticky boundary scenarios and what to say series for me, Terry Cole. And if you don't know me, I am a licensed psychotherapist, a relationship expert, and the proud author of Boundary Boss. You see it right there, my book. It is available at boundarybossbook.com. Okay, so today we are talking about how do you stop intrusive questions? So have you ever been anywhere? where people just ask you something that's none of their damn business, that is so rude, or that maybe you just don't feel like talking about. They ask you why you don't eat wheat, or why aren't you having kids, or where's the guy that they saw you with the last time, or where's the woman that they saw you with the last time. Then there's really painful things that people ask you about. If you have the death of a loved one, do you mind if I ask you how your uncle died? I do. Mind. Don't, don't ask me, please. But that, isn't, that is not a very skilled answer. I'm gonna give you more skilled answers. So there's a reality. You can deflect almost any question and it depends on the person. If your Aunt Betty is like 90 or 80 or 50, but you know, she just loves you, but she's nosy as hell, you're not going to come back with like a really forceful thing for Aunt Betty. The most important aspect of this boundary is that you do not reveal information about yourself that you do not want others to know, that you will later regret because that is so painful. And that's where there's a lot of regret where you're like, why didn't I just not? Because people can ask you anything. You can literally say nothing. You can act like you didn't hear them. You can say, oh wait, in the middle of what they're saying, I'm going to go get a drink. Like, People are not even dialed into us. We think they are. We think that we are under a magnifying glass for everyone. People are so into what they're saying and their own thing. You don't, you don't even have to be confrontational, especially if it's like extended family or whatever. But you can, if you want to draw that boundary and if you want to stop the intrusive question asker in their track, there is a great technique from Kasha Urbaniak that I love where you question the questioner's question right? You question. So if someone says, um, are you going to have kids ever? And you say, why do you ask? Now you have flipped the, it's a flipping the power dynamic back. And the, now they have to say something. Oh, I'm just being nosy basically is what they'd have to say. Or, oh, I'm just making conversation. Okay. Well, actually I don't feel like talking about that. So what else do you want to talk about? Right? But when you flip it, you can say, why do you ask? Why would you want to know that? That's another good one. Or why would you ask me that? See, that's the one that I've used the most if it's a really painful question that's inappropriate that someone is asking me. Literally straight up to their face. Why would you ask me that? So it's not super confrontational, but it is so powerful because the person has to think about why are they asking you that? It is none of their friggin' business. No, do not ask me that. But again, the most important thing is to not answer. So then there's less serious ones where people are, again, just being nosy as hell. But let's say someone asks you how much money you make. You can say, trust me, not nearly what I'm worth, right? Don't answer the question again. Why are you taking the day off, right? Let's just say that Bob is asking you that at work. Why are you taking the day off? Well, hello, Bob. That's why it's called a personal day is personal. Again, we can use humor, wink and a smile goes a long way. The most important thing that you do is not give up information about yourself that's going to make you regret it. And before you become a boundary boss, which you can do, because I've laid the whole entire thing out for you in my book, is that step by step, you will learn to not give up this information. So in the beginning, when you're not a boundary boss, we're so pissed at the other person. Like what friggin' nerve Betty has or Bob has to ask me those questions or to ask me to do those things. When you become a boundary boss, you don't have to be mad because it's not that hard to say no, or it's not that hard to say, I'm not talking about that, <laughs> no, right? It becomes second nature. So we only get so mad really in the beginning because a lot of times we will give the, them the information and then regret it. Does that make sense? So the more you do it, the easier it gets. 
All right, I wanna know what you have to say about people asking you about stuff that's none of their damn business. And do you struggle with that? Or have you mastered the art of that somehow? Please drop the info in the comments. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, drop me some comments, would you? I'll see you in video five.